Hello and welcome back. Sorry about that last video, I kind of crashed and burned at the end. Um, sometimes things just don't work out the way you expect when you're programming. So I went ahead and I changed this invoke to a 0.41 delay. And... Um, what else? I, I think that was it for fixing the timing issues at the end. And then um, right, right after the video cut off, um, it took me to the main menu. And I have this null reference exception. The menu control script is trying to access cursor lock. And the same way as before, we just need to say if that does not exist, don't do anything. Like this. So we have FPS menu look, menu set active, reticle set active. Uh, Like that. And so now essentially what we're doing when the game ends is pausing the game. And that hides the cursor. And and it also pauses the game. And then when the user hits resume, uh, the, the game timer starts again. And this invoke finishes. And then uh, we restart the game. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. So we find an enemy, they kill us, it pauses the game, and then we can quit out of the application or we can resume, and that takes us back to the start screen. And uh, from that main menu, I need to make sure that the cursor is active. So to do that, um, there's a few different things we could do. I think uh, just to make sure that it's always active 100% of the time from that menu, I'm just going to say if scene manager dot scene is there a current scene? What is it called? Scene I need the variable for the current active scene, so let's just find that. Scene manager unity current scene. Current. Oh, okay. So there's there is a static function called get active scene. So we're gonna use that. Uh, we can go to here, scene manager dot get active and that's that's gonna return a number and if that number is zero uh, we're gonna make sure that um, cursor lock is turned off like that and I guess this isn't doing exactly what we want. Uh, we want get seen by build index. Get seen build index. Uh, so once again, it's not doing what I expected it to do. Get active scene returns a scene. And so that's going to have some built in values, such as path and hopefully build index. Yeah, okay. So, so we're going to get the active scene, we're going to take its build index, and we're going to compare that to zero. If the current scene is zero, uh, show the cursor. Ah, get active scene. 
Sorry guys, I'm really crashing and boarding right now. Alright, one more time. The enemy comes and kills us. We can resume. That loads up the start screen. And for some reason the cursor is still not showing up, which is frustrating. Why would that be? We're definitely at build index zero. Uh, well, FPS is probably null at this point since we restarted the scene. So to fix that, um, let's go back into the main menu. And we have management, menu control, and let's just make sure we set FPS to... Oh. Well, how about that? Um, we don't actually have the FPS controller. So the cursor is being locked in this night scene. And then we're loading up the main menu and the cursor is still locked. And we can't unlock it because we don't have a character reference. So we need to see how it gets locked in mouse look. Cursor dot visible. There we go. So hopefully we can just use that line from menu control. Cursor dot visible. Let's see what that does. Load up the main menu. And it's not visible. That is so frustrating. Well, that's probably why. It was set to false. We need to make sure cursor visible is set to true. Go back into play mode. Now we can see it. Thankfully. Okay, now let's do let's do one playthrough for real. Go to night. Disable the directional light or bring its value way down. Go into play mode. Alright, and now I'm going to load up the main menu, start the game. Kill confirmed.